welcome to punarvasi technologies punarvasi.com is my website i am mr ras sap basis international trainer i teach sap basis administration online to students who are located in five different continents to make sap basis training easy for my students i am recording videos on performing each and every experiment of sap basis administrators if you want to practice from your home using your laptop you can install sap netwear software on top of vmware virtualization software so that you need to learn how to install vmware workstation on top of your host operating system first suppose if your host operating system is windows 7 you cannot install sap software on top of client operating system that is workstation software that is windows 7 you have to install windows server operating system to install any sap related softwares so that without removing your original windows 7 operating system from your laptop you can install vmware workstation on top of vmware workstation you can create virtual machine and then you can install v, uh, windows server 2008 or windows server 2003 operating system so i will show you how to install vmware workstation 9 in this video just follow so this is my another computer so in this i have installed windows 7 operating system so this is windows 7 ultimate here i am going to install vmware workstation it is very simple installation just like other softwares that is windows softwares just double click on this vm9 exe file just click on the s button click on the next button typical and it is going to be installed within this folder that is c colon slash program files vmware vmware workstation click on the next button and uh, uncheck this uh, mark that is check for product updates and startup click next and uncheck this help improve vmware workstation click next click next click continue just wait for some time it will be installed automatically
so it's done click on the finish button and then double click on VMA workstation to start the program So this is the home page of VMware Workstation 9. From here you can create new virtual machine. And if you want to create new virtual machine, you have to use this icon. Just click on that and uh, you can select a typical or a custom. Just typical you select. Just click on the next button. And if you are going to install uh, the operating system from the DVD, that is the operating system DVD, you can choose first option. And for uh, particularly for my students, I am providing you the .iso file so that uh, don't select anything from here. Just select I will install the operating system later. Third option, just click on the next button. And I am going to provide you Windows Server 2008 server so that you just choose the Windows Server 2008 x64 version and just click on the next button and uh, the name you can provide to this particular virtual machine like this it is default it has given like this but suppose if you are installing ECC software you can choose like this that is ECC 6.0 EHP 6 and uh, the same file will be files will be created within this which virtual machines folder that is uh, SQL users RAS documents with virtual machines ECC 6.0 EHP 6 just click on the next button and maximum disk size for installation of the software is 40 GB is default but but for installing um, ECC software you need to have minimum 400 GB free space uh, for safe side what I am doing is here uh, I am providing 500 GB Free space that is okay. Let us let us make it 600 GB. Okay, you can also choose 500 GB or 400 GB. That it doesn't matter because approximately 250 GB is required for installing EC 6.0 HP 6. And in my case, I have allocated this much of space because I am planning to install uh, some other SAP software on top of ECC that is SEM software. I want to install that's why I have chosen. 600 GB just uh, select the first option that is store virtual disk as a single file I don't want to split the virtual disk into multiple files so that I am selecting the store virtual disk as a single file you can also choose this file uh, to avoid confusion between different uh, multiple files okay and just click on the next button and this is the new visa new virtual mission wizard screen just click on the finish button here so once you finish it uh, you can see the option in the left hand side that is left hand pan from here uh, the new virtual mission has been created now just you have to choose the dvd that is iso file from here that is choose it and iso file should be selected from here that is use iso image file just click on the browse button and uh, the iso file is available in my computer in uh, e drive sw dump common uh, sap installation files from here windows server 2008 enterprise this is the file that is iso file just click on the open button and click on the ok button here so that the operating system DVD will be selected. So if I start that is power on this virtual machine, the virtual machine will be started and booted through the operating system DVD and the installation of Windows Server 2008 will be started. So I will show you how to install Windows Server 2008 operating system using this uh, particular DVD in next video if possible and uh, 
I hope uh, with this video you understood how to install VMware Workstation 9. Just if you want to check the version of this particular VMware Workstation, just from here you can check it up. That is uh, VMware Workstation product and the version is 9.0.1 build so and so. And uh, you can also choose these preferences and uh, uh, that is uh, unselect the updates that is software updates and uh, like this that is uh, where is that updates okay check for software components as needed just remove this stick also just click on okay so that the that your windows uh, vmware workstation 9 doesn't check any updates by connecting to vmware vmware website okay and here the memory is allocated here 1 gb 1 gb is not enough for installing uh, ecc 6.0 hp6 so that you need to select you need to have at least 4 gb of ram for installing ecc software to allocate this 4 gb ram here you need to have minimum 8 gb ram in your computer that is host operating system should have 8 gb ram so that you can choose 50 percentage of the ram here so that the 50 percentage of the ram will be available for your host operating system that is windows 7 operating system windows 7 operating system also should work perfectly um, so that you have to allocate some ram you have to leave some ram so that 50 percentage of the ram you have to choose from here in my case i have 32 gb ram that's I can choose more than 4 GB also even I can choose 8 GB RAM also here okay and for better performance I can choose 16 GB RAM also okay just uh, I'm leaving like this just click on the OK button and also I can choose more number of processors and processor cores that is processors one and I have i7 processor just I'm choosing two number of processors two number of cores per processors two okay and just click on the ok button okay and uh, so that's all i am concluding this video here okay if you have any questions on this particular video you can leave your comments in my website that is www.ponarvasi.com and i am also offering uh, recorded videos um, that is 83 videos i have recorded as of now and i am providing those videos uh, in my video space that is punarvasi.com uh, just for 179 us dollars i am providing just go to basis videos and from this page you can place the order using the paypal button which is placed here that i have mentioned all the time timings here that is time duration of each and every video that is number one number two like that and uh, there are 83 videos i have recorded as of now and all these 83 videos i am providing it for 179 us dollars or 9999 inr that is indian rupees and if you want to subscribe to these videos just you have to click on the subscribe button that is paypal button and if you are sending payment from uh, india you can ask my bank details so that i'll send you the bank details and you can transfer the payment to my bank account okay uh, if you have any questions uh, you can leave comments using this comment form from here you can uh, leave your comment okay so uh, you can also go through different articles i have written on sap basis administration using this particular page from here and uh, you can also go to my youtube channel directly by clicking on this button and you can subscribe to uh, watch some of the free videos using the uh, subscribe button um, as of now i have 158 subscribers you can also make use of these videos and uh, some of the most important videos are i am posting at posting at free of cost so that you can watch those videos if you like those videos you can subscribe to my private list of uh, videos on sap basis administration Thanks for watching for this video, better luck for your learning.